This is Troy with Marshfield Airsoft. Just going to do a quick overview of the collaboration between Octurus and Gate. They came out with the Trinity Alpha Series. They're going to come in three different lengths. Uh, they're going to have a smaller one, a more, little bit more compact than this. Um, basically all that's going to be is it's going to have a shorter rail. It's still going to have the same type of stock you know, and whatnot. Uh, the medium length, and then they're going to have a longer longer one. Uh, I cannot remember for sure what the length is, but I believe it's like 4 to 5 inches longer than this one here. Um, more suited for like your outdoor fields. Um, you know, if you want to go with like a DMR style, uh, it'd be a really good candidate for that. I went with the medium. Um, just fits my play style a lot better. But anyhow, we'll just go over some key features of the gun itself. Uh, first, it comes with the Octurus version 2 hybrid gearbox, Gate Titan 2 Bluetooth ETU, the Gate Nova Trigger, a CNC stainless steel cylinder, the Gate sealed nozzle, a Gate cylinder head, Gate high speed piston head, quick change spring system, CNC ball bearing spring guide have a high cycle life spring the Octurus uh, 13 to 1 steel CNC wide use gear set now it says also with a reinforced gearbox front um, I didn't know exactly what that meant so I went ahead and took off the upper receiver and kind of took a look at the gearbox myself and uh, a lot of the points on your gearbox that are you know prone to cracking or anything like that they they did reinforce those areas which I thought was really cool and a nice addition um, other than that uh, it has 6.02 millimeter precision QPQ coated carbon steel type bore barrel uh, the upper receiver and lower receiver are all uh, aluminum the front rail system same thing it's all metal the only thing that is plastic on this is your stock your grip and the magazine that's it other other than that everything um, your switches all that everything is is metal now with the gate Titan 2 uh, ETU when you go ahead and take this gun you take the stock off to access the back it's going to have a Dean's connector on it, and on that Dean's connector, there's going to be a small foil, like sticker of sorts, and it's going to have a code on it, uh, a pin code. Now you're going to want to keep that, and I cannot stress how important that is. That pin code is going to allow you to be able to connect this to your cell phone or your smartwatch. So make sure you keep that code somewhere safe where you're not going to lose it or misplace it because. If you lose that code, you will not have access to be able to change the settings via Bluetooth on this on this rifle. So, make sure you set it aside somewhere, put it in a you know a safe spot. Um, other than that, uh, now this isn't the way it comes out of the box. I did eat, uh, go ahead and add some rail segments and a grip here on the front. Um, the flash or muzzle device is orange and is metal. I went ahead and just painted mine because I don't like that it makes me stick out, out in the field. So uh, just a preference thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Oh, before I do that, the one thing I will say is I'm kind of bummed out about is there's no ambidextrous mag release or selector. So it's, it's kind of standard on that, which I'm kind of... Uh, kind of upset about to be honest at that at a $550 price point, but I mean other than that uh, Excellent texture on a grip. I really like how that feels um, I went ahead and added this and Between this grip and this grip it feels just really solid. It's a very good quality build very happy with it um, You got your typical, you know collapsible stock uh, nothing really special about that or anything. I do like that it doesn't have the protruding like bumps 
like most of uh, the AR style stocks will have. Um, yeah, it does give more battery space, but I just like this more sleek look, to be honest. Uh, other than that, uh, all these, all the etchings here and everything are all laser engraved. They're not uh, stickers. They're not painted on. They're actually laser engraved. I mean, you can feel it just... Um, the other cool thing is, is that when you pull the bolt back, it locks back so you can make adjustments out in the field pretty easily. I really like that feature. Some guns do have it and some guns don't. Um, this one does, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, now, the only thing internally that I changed out, and this is more of a preference thing, is I did change up the hop-up unit because... I like the CNC hop-ups. Uh, I don't really like the plastic ones. I've just, back in the day, I had some bad luck with them cracking. And uh, so every gun I get, I change out the hop-up unit. Uh, so I did go with the gate version, of course, because I wanted to keep this, you know, gate and Octurus parts. I didn't want to change anything out from that. But, um... And it really, I shot it before and after, and it didn't make a big difference or anything. Um, nothing that I would say is notable. Uh, it, it shot great out of the box. It's just more of a preference thing. I just want it to be metal. I don't want plastic rotary hop-up. But uh, it does have a ma magazine cutoff, so... I believe the cutoff is 30 rounds or 100... Or no... Let me let me let me backtrack here. So the magazine that it comes with out of the box is a variable magazine. So you can either run it as 130 rounds or 30 rounds. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, so you can change that out to be you know a mid cap or more you know realistic with the 30 rounds as most ARs. That's what the mag magazine capacity is going to be. So. Uh, other than that, uh, we'll turn it over again. Yeah, like I said, same thing. All these branding is all laser engraved. It's not stickers or painted on or anything. Um, but other than that, I will go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, I will do a shooting video, um, hopefully here in the next week or two. And also, there's some features that I'm wanting to show on my cell phone unfortunately I'm filming on my cell phone so therefore I can't really show it now but um, yeah when you go ahead and purchase this and you get it here to your house the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to download an app and um, that apps gonna give you access to a whole list of awesome features with this um, it's gonna make make it where you can the sensitivity of your trigger you can adjust it to make it where if you want it as a hair trigger you can do it that way um, you can do a sniper delay on the trigger not something I'm gonna use but it's it's there and I think it's cool that they have those options so you can kinda customize this gun in you know the way you want it to be so if you want it to have a hair trigger you can have it as a hair trigger if you don't you can turn it off uh, it also has a cutoff which is really cool um, so when you're shooting a gun and say you can set this up to where the gun will only fire 30 times and then you will have to actually take out the magazine and put in a new one before it will allow you to fire again which I think is really cool for those that like that you know military simulation or training purposes I think that's a really awesome feature that they they added to this um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and end the video um, I'll do a more of a detailed video later on when I get the time but uh, last last thing I wanted to say honestly I spent five hundred and fifty dollars on this would I do it again yes I would um, I'm very happy with it so far I haven't been able to play with it out in the field but um, I have been able to go out in the backyard and shoot a little bit and it hasn't skipped a beat it's been a it's got good range good 
excellent consistency. Um, I threw it on the chrono, and the lowest out of 10 shots, the lowest I got was a 398. The highest I got was a 401. So very, very consistent. Um, and the, the, the rate of fire is great, too. Probably one of the fastest firing AEGs I've ever had out of the box. Um, I believe when I looked on the app, it said that I was averaging 31 rounds per second with this gun um, out of the box. So, but um, if you guys got any co comments, questions, concerns, uh, or whatnot, um, I mean, if you think of think you're thinking of buying it, uh, and you got a question or two that you'd like to ask, go ahead and put it down in the comments, and I'll do the best I can to answer your questions. Until then. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. All right, so I have the Octurus slash Gate Trinity Alpha Series. I'm going to be going ahead and I got three pop cans up there and two uh, metal targets. I'd say they're probably about a good... 25 to 30 yards away uh, be going ahead and just doing a real quick shooting test just to show you um, out of the box I mean it's it's a good quality gun um, you don't you shouldn't have to go in making big purchases on a you know tight bore inner barrel or you know a crazy max hop up or anything like that I mean this thing shoots just fine out of the box uh, first shot, uh, I'm going to put this on semi, and uh, I'll be going for the pop can on the top right. Yeah, first shot, I, I mean. <clears throat> Next one. Well, two for the price of one, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just do these uh, metal targets. That's all on uh, semi-auto. Alright, let me wind up this high cap real quick and uh, I'll show you what it is out of the box for rate of fire. Um, the app's been telling me it's at 31 rounds per second, so here we go. Pretty much drained uh, <laughs> high cap mag. I think I only got maybe like 10, 15 rounds left. But yeah, out of the box, I mean, rate of fire is excellent. Um, Accuracy is really good. I don't think you could ask for much better. All right, well, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks. Bye.